classified. You all right? She was tied to a trash can in front of the West Palm Beach City Hall in 90 degree temperatures with a bleeding wound the size of a baseball. That thing's huge. She's been out here about 15 minutes. As the clock ticked to the better part of an hour and no owner in sight, the panting pooch drew a crowd, complete strangers opening up their hearts and their lunch bags. Okay, got it? I just walked up uh, to deliver some information uh, upstairs and saw the dog in, in distress. Leela Jordan works at City Hall and also happens to run Elders on the Edge Pet Fund. It's an organization that helps out animals when their owners can't. You could say she was the right person to walk by at the right time. You had transportation? Are you on foot? When the dog's owner did come around, he told police and city officials he's been down on his luck and couldn't afford to help the animal. It's a scene playing out all too often these days, but it was still Allie's lucky day. The first thing is to take care of this animal. She was taken to El Cid Animal Clinic with Jordan's organization footing the bill. We have in here uh, what it looks appears to be a tumor, and this tumor has ulcerated here, in here, and in here. And when we put pressure, there is some positive, of course, there's some discomfort in the animal. Doctors say Ali should recover after surgery. And for Leela Jordan, those are words that make the ending to this story even better. So for me to see the animal here now know it's going to be taken care of and that he's going to be made well, then that's, that's enough. In West Palm Beach, Kristen Cadell, WPTV, News Channel 5. Hmm. Now an update now. Allie is still in surgery right now with her owner's consent. Where she will end up after that is still unclear. If you would like to donate to the Elders on the Edge Pet Fund or receive help yourself, you can call 561-804-4970. Absolutely.